Welcome back, everybody, to the Westlake Hornets Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. As today, the Hornets head out to a rainy Norman, Oklahoma, as they are set to take on the Oklahoma Sooners in what should be a very fun battle. Last week, Westlake had their opening day and defeated their rival, the Utah State Aggies, by a score of 40-7. to Westlake didn't dominate them, per se, but it was pretty fun to... Get to see the starters again and also get to watch a lot of the younger players, mainly in the second half. But today, obviously, this game's going to be a lot more challenging. Oklahoma's a very good team. They are unranked, but they're still a really good squad. Uh, they have a very talented offense. Senior running back Cedric Neal, one of the top players in the country. They've had a QB battle for a while between two former five-star athletes, Calvin Spence and Ryan Rogers. Both of them are seniors. I think Rogers is their starter here. This is Oklahoma's opening day, by the way. And I'm pretty sure Ryan Rogers is their opening day starter. I don't know why they didn't bother to move one of their positions since they both are very athletic, but oh well. Welcome to Gaylord Oklahoma Memorial Stadium, I guess, as uh, the number one ranked 1-0 Westlake Hornets take on the Oklahoma Boomer Sooners as this season for them sets uh, to kick off. Hornets will choose tails. You know tails never fails, and it lands on heads. And Westlake will start on offense today. That's a uh, that's a change of pace from normality. Westlake will be starting this drive at the 36 after a very nice kick return by redshirt freshman Dale McBride. McBride is definitely winning the wide receiver four battle right now. He's number 19 with the dreadlocks on the right side of your screen. As on first down, the first play of the game, Stephen Westwood... Gets intercepted by Myers. Well, that's not how this game was supposed to start off for Westlake. This is the very first play from scrimmage. And it's a turnover. Here's the Oklahoma offense, obviously with great field position. From the 11-yard line, Ryan Rogers hands it off for the senior. Cedric Neal, expect him to have a big day. He's going to go backwards on that one. The senior safety, Marcus Jones, brings him down, but... Cedric Neal is the wheels that turn this offense, so he's going to have a big performance. Ryan Rogers did win the QB battle over Calvin Spence, both of whom are true seniors. I don't know if they're going to redshirt Spence for an extra year of eligibility. As on third down, Ali Johnson with the touchdown. Lewis Kahn sent a ton of pressure, but bad coverage there by Anthony Mitchell, and the Sooners are on the board. Rough start for the Hornets, but I mean we're only not even three minutes in, so there's nothing to worry about. Third and nine, Westwood is joined by John Cummings in the backfield. Play action fake. Westwood looking for Carter, who is hit hard and only gains eight. The tackle is uh, going to be made by someone in the secondary. So what does Westlake do on fourth and one? Fourth and one, Westlake is going to go for it. They're so close, so they might as well. Hand off for J.C. Godwin, his first collegiate touch, and it goes for four. That's a first down. J.C. Godwin is a Juco sophomore. He was only a one-star in the recruiting class. I do feel like that's fairly disrespectful. First down, fake handoff for Cummings. Westwood going to go somewhat deep for Dale McBride for a gain of 20. McBride played quite well last week and starts today off pretty well with a nice gain. Good play for the Hornets. Their offense is starting to get into a little bit of a groove as Westwood on first down. He is going to be sacked. Clobbered for a loss of 10 by Gary Sims. This is already the ninth play of the drive. Westlake is barely past midfield. Second and 20. Westwood. Gonna look to throw it. He connects with his younger brother. It's Carter Westwood who gets 22. So that'll make up for the sack pretty nicely. Westlake now is at the 12. They're in the red zone for the first time today. Moving it pretty nicely. Fake handoff for Irving Porter who had a nice game last week. Westwood looking for the end zone, and it's caught by the redshirt freshman, Cassius Troy. His first career receiving touchdown, first of many, I'm sure. And Westlake will tie it up as the former Burmester High connection. Both Stephen Westwood and Cassius Troy went to Burmester High, uh, just west of Westlake's campus. Oklahoma's offense looking good so far on this possession. They're moving it a lot faster than they did on their previous one. But again, they started with great field position on their last one, so it doesn't really matter. As Rodgers loses two on first down, Lewis Kahn, the senior, absolutely pounced him in the backfield. Third and eight for the Sooners. Exactly a minute to play here in quarter number one. 
as Rodgers looking to throw it. Under pressure, he's going to yeet it for the end zone, and it's picked off by Brick Hands Lee. Or Marcus Lee, I guess he doesn't have Brick Hands on that play. Marcus Lee dropped a number of interceptions last season, but hey, maybe he'll catch some this year. Nice play. After forcing the turnover, I'm sure the last thing Westlake wants is a three and out. Third and five. Steven West, we're going to scramble to his right. We know he can run with it. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss of three by Doug Jackson. Westlake's pass protection has not been great in either game so far, which is strange because the offensive line is the exact same five starters from last year. You'd think that A, they'd all get better, and B, they'd all have chemistry, but clearly not. Third and eight for the Sooners. Westlake's offense just had a three and out. I'm sure Oklahoma does not want that same fate as uh, Rodgers will look to throw it. Under pressure, he's now going to scramble with it. Richard Rivers Jr., Big Tuna, cannot catch up. And Rodgers gets 23 and, more importantly, converts for first down. Another third and eight here for Oklahoma. Obviously, their last one was fairly successful. Let's see what they can do here as Rodgers will look to throw it. Under pressure, nearly sacked, but instead he's clobbered by Delvin Hines and will likely see the field goal unit. Fourth and five, Oklahoma going for a 46-yard field goal. Uh, he is not kicking from the hashes, so this should be a fairly straight kick. Westlake preparing for the fake. There is no fake, and Oklahoma makes the field goal. So far today, and this season in general, Westlake's pass protection and their run blocking as well have been really bad which is strange because these are the exact same starters on the offensive line as last year, the exact same five. Third and ten. Screen for John Cummings, and he makes a nice play getting 12. Cummings has really struggled, mainly because of a run blocking, but he makes a nice play there. This Westlake offense is very different and a lot better when the offensive line is in sync, and I think you can say that about any offense at any level of football. As Westwood fumbles it, no time to throw it. It is recovered by Irving Porter, but that's a loss of eight. Stephen Westwood has strained his abdominal. He'll be good to return shortly, but for for now, I guess this play, uh, Wesley Thomas will be in. Third and 17. Thomas going deep for Tegan Moon for a gain of 25. Tegan Moon dropped an easy touchdown last week, so uh, hopefully this can make up for it as he competes for the wide receiver four position. Back spasms this time for Steven Westwood. Wesley Thomas is back in there. First and goal. Handoff for Irving Porter. Trucks a defender. Touchdown, Westlake. Irving Porter scored in his collegiate debut last week and scores again today. Irving Porter, who played well against Utah State a week ago, is having himself another pretty good game here in this one. Oklahoma is losing for the first time today. Let's see if they can try to fix that up and take the lead before halftime. The Sooners do start the second half on offense, remember, as Rodgers is going to be sacked. I think the credit there will go to Delvin Hines for the sack, but I couldn't really tell. Third and six here for the Sooners. Rodgers under pressure. Khan makes a bad play, and Rodgers is pounded by Marcus Lee, but not before gaining 22. A Sooner lineman just committed a false start, maybe to stop the clock. As on second and 14, Rodgers is picked off. This time by Marcus Jones, and that's most likely how the first half will come to a close. Second half underway, Westlake opens up with the lead, but the Sooners start with the ball. First down, handoff for Neal, and he gets clobbered! What a hit by Marcus Jones! Cedric Neal, let's just hope there's an ambulance. An, a what? An ambulance for you, buddy. I could not speak English there. <laughs> Second and 12 now for Oklahoma. Rodgers looking to throw it. He connects with Johnson, who's wide open on the out route for a gain of 17. It's tight end Terrence Johnson with the catch. Westlake is currently going after a tight end and recruiting named Terrence Johnson, but his name is spelled with two E's and not an E and an A. As Rodgers is sacked by Justin McGee for a loss of three. Third and 10 now for the Sooners. They have it pretty much at midfield. Let's see if they can convert. Rodgers and Neal in the backfield per usual. As Rodgers clobbered by Mitchell, 
However, he's going to get it to Adam John. How many players with the last name Johnson do this, does this team have on offense? Jesus. Wide receiver Ollie Johnson, wide receiver Adam Johnson, and tight end Terrence Johnson. That's three right there. That's really weird. Second and seven, one of the Johnsons in motion. As Rogers going to pitch it to Johnson, who loses three. I think that was Marcus Lee with the hit. Yeah, now it is third and nine. Fourth and two at the 17. Ryan Rogers is six for nine. Nice. And Oklahoma's going to go for it. Gutsy call, but hey, if you want to beat a team like Westlake, you got to have some balls. Rogers does not get it. Marcus Jones with another really hard hit. And the score will remain 14 to 10. Steven Westwood has really taken a beating all day. Gotta give him some credit for playing with this pain. He's gonna feel these bruises tomorrow morning. Third and six. Risky throw and it's caught. Threading the needle over to Cassius Troy. And that is a huge first down conversion for Westlake. That was a very risky throw by Steven Westwood. But hey, anything's better than getting clobbered in the pocket, right? First down. It's going to be an option toss for John Cummings. Nothing but green grass ahead. Touchdown, Westlake. Cummings with his first touchdown of the season. And it is now a two-possession lead for the Hornets. Third and seven here for Oklahoma. Let's see if they can convert or they'll have another failure of a drive. Rodgers stumbling, and he loses 10. It's a sack by the elements, the turf. I don't know. On the touchdown, Stephen Westwood bruised his sternum. He's back in the game, but eventually, if you're a team doctor, you just got to say, no, you've taken too many hits, Stevie. But he's going to continue to tough it out. Westwood on first down launches a bomb for a wide open Cassius Troy, 55 yards to the house. I don't know how nobody saw him, but Westlake will extend their lead. You gotta give Steven Westwood some credit. He is a really tough cookie. Oklahoma now down by 18. They've got to start a little rally here as Rodgers is flattened by Delvin Hines for a loss of three. At least half of Oklahoma's plays today have just been Ryan Rodgers scrambling for his life. Like, they've got to do something else by uh, passing it, which I suppose is good, but not when you fumble it. Lewis Kanye, I believe, rips the ball out Delvin Hines recovers. Was that ball out? That's the question. We don't really have a good angle. Yeah, that ball was out. That's a fumble. Westlake will get the ball. You all want to hear the ultimate stat right now? John Cummings has 69 rushing yards today. He also has a yards per carry of 6.9 since he's gotten 10 carries today. That's pretty darn cool. Third and two. Westwood nearly sacked. Keeps the play alive over to Ayaluko. For a gain of 14. This Stephen Westwood kid might be the toughest human in college football. Second and 13 after a loss of three. Irving Porter in the backfield. This means John Cummings can keep his 69 yards for the day. Porter makes a nice cut. What a run by the freshman Irving Porter for his second touchdown of the game. I've got to admit, this young running back is a pretty darn special football player. Irving Porter has looked really impressive so far in his young Westlake career. I think the game is a lot closer than the score suggests, but I mean, Oklahoma has not played very well here in the second half. First down for the Sooners. Rodgers looking to throw it. He has time. He's going to get it to Neal, who fumbles it. What a hit by Kyle Harris. And that is the fourth turnover today for the Sooners. Back-to-back -back plays for Oklahoma's offense have resulted in fumbles. That ball was clean out. We don't even have to see the replay for that one. I don't know if it's for rain and the elements that's just making the ball slip out for Oklahoma, but I mean, that's the only reasonable excuse. Porter on second and nine loses two. There's a nice play by the Sooners. Ron Carter with the hit. Irving Porter currently has 6.9 yards per carry. John Cummings still has 6.9 yards per carry. You love to see it. Third and 11. Westwood looking for Cassius Troy. Touchdown number three for Troy. Have yourself a day, buddy. As Stephen Westwood and Cassius Troy are leaving right where they left off from high school. I think Cassius Troy has four receptions today. 
and three have gone for scores. Westlake now up by 32 all of a sudden. And that is how this game ends. Westlake wins it by a score of 42 to 10. This game was close going into halftime, and then Westlake just dominated in the second half, outscoring the Sooners 28 to nothing. As uh, Stephen Westwood obviously got clobbered in this game. Rough day for him when it comes to uh, his physical health. But the Stephen Westwood Cassius Troy connection is really starting to heat up. Cassius Troy finished with five catches, 134 yards, and three touchdowns, which was really good to see. Also, Westlake's defense played very well. Oklahoma could barely run the ball. Uh, Ryan Rogers never really got into a groove. So all around. Dominant win here for Westlake. Next week, they had a bye week, and then week four, they're playing the Cal Golden Bears, who I know are ranked like somewhere in the top 15. I'm not entirely sure. But that'll end the episode. Hope you all enjoy it. I'm out. Peace.